Yeah. All right. I think I know which cutscene this is. Us lies Aru Village, the safe haven of the desert folk. I think I know what's coming up because I did have to record this. Oh, this landscape is really something else. Would you come to Brazil? I mean, if they'll have me, I won't Let's know. <laughs> I won't know Portuguese. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Here we go. I mean, whoa! Look, a cutscene. I've never seen it before in my life. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what's going on? Oh my gosh! I can't believe it. Is that Sino? Oh, this is the first time I'm seeing this. I will say this is actually the first time I'm seeing it finished. <laughs> Cause I saw it like without Unless textures. My memory fails me. <laughs> we have barely spoken two words to each other before now at the academia. Would you care to enlighten me as to when and how I invited the general Mahamatra's wrath? Oh, you know, cause you're a douche. Are you really sign a voice actor? I am new here. No, you caught me. Saw so, yes. Well, sounds like Anarchy said it. It seems like I am. Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape my judgment just because you managed to escape my attack. Oh, dude, it looks so cool. So, yeah, anything else in the game I haven't seen? If it's cutscenes, uh, we had to match the, the, the footage sometimes. Uh, but everything else, we, we didn't see the foot footage. Huh. Judgment? So that's how you'd care. Judgment your weighs spirit. upon your soul. A little elimination perhaps be a more accurate description. Yes. I'm here to end you. Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. Hmm. <laughs> For example, <clears throat> what's green fuzzy has four legs and will kill you if it falls out of a tree? A pool table. I don't know, I didn't, I actually, you know, because green and fuzzy, I guess, because, yeah. <laughs> An armed man ran into a real estate agency and shouted, Nobody move. You see, because the real estate agent is trying to get people to move, so. And, uh, yeah. That was a good one. Though styled like an assassination, I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. Standard practice for the Matra, as well you know. How would he- never mind. Seemed to me more like your own personal touch. Yeah, you know, you gotta give it a little pizzazz. Uh, who, who is that, Al Haytham? Did you call him General Mahamatra? Yes. General Mahamatra Sino, head of all the Matra at the Academia. He's a formidable hunter and the ultimate nightmare for any who have committed academic crimes. That's me. Hee <laughs> hee, be scared. Evil beware. You're in for a scare. You seem to have placed a lot of trust in Al Haytham to the point of blocking an attack for him. If I were you, I'd never choose to side with him. I wouldn't believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. I urge you, stand back and do not seek to defend him any longer. Otherwise, there will be consequences. Yeah. Stupid. Hey, thank you for the sub, I killer. You. Hello. Hello there. He's as bad as you've made him out to be. Didn't he literally steal a divine knowledge capsule? What do you mean? I won't waste my breath explaining things. Ah, oh, Haytham. I saw it during our fight. Take it out. The divine knowledge capsule you're hiding on your person. 
unless you want me to retrieve it for myself. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I had the same thought when I recorded this. Take it out. <laughs> Bro, I had the same thought when I recorded this. <laughs> The fact that they kept that subtle, like, space between the take it out and the dip. <laughs> Bro, I... <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> While we're waiting, I'll hate them. Take it out. <laughs> Bro, I can't... <clears throat> Calling my bluff, I see. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Nothing escapes Amatra's senses. Wait, the Divine Knowledge Capsule? Didn't it fall into the Matra's hands in Port Ormos? Didn't he literally tell us that he was researching it? Like, literally, like, five minutes ago? Am I stupid? Like, he, he did say that, right? I was studying the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Did he not say that? No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit, I'm very curious. What does this capsule mean to you? <laughs> yes, but Paimon is an idiot. <laughs> he hid it from the Traveler? I know- We- I know he hid it from us. But, wouldn't we have connected the dots after he said the thing? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And why, as General Mahamatra of the Academia, are you all alone in the desert? What, a homie can't be in the desert all by himself? As far as I'm aware, the other Matra have been speculating about your disappearance. Well, maybe I should slap them across the face. Have you been given a mission that's, let's say, morally dubious? Hey, yo, why are you giving me the four degree? Relax. If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority and resources to judge me within the walls of the academia? Because then I wouldn't be able to have jumped Traveler your ass. Has no brain cell. Paimon does all the thinking and talking, and even Paimon has no brain cell. <laughs> Thanks, Kaya, for this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> chill. But you're right. But chill. <laughs> Is it a mission from the sages? They caught me. I should have known you'd be difficult to deal with. Yeah, spit in his face. You two! Ugh. What should we do, Traveler? Paimon feels like we can't trust either of them. I don't know. I feel like we could trust Sino. I don't know. I, 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 I really like the cut of his jib. I feel like we could trust him. <clears throat> well, look at you two acting all tough and self-righteous over there. Okay, I don't want to be that guy, but they literally started that shot with, like, her thighs. Look, I don't want to... Look. Look. I don't want to be that guy. But I feel like Hoyoverse knew exactly what they were doing right there. Like, that's... Come on. <laughs> come on. Wait, see ya? Great! Finally, someone that we can trust! <laughs> someone that we can trust? <laughs> you gotta help us out here. Otherwise, these two are gonna start fighting again! Yeah, bet. Beat his ass. Yeah, sure looks that way. Two giants from the academia duking it out. Sano is control. not canonically the shortest Genshin male. That's that a lie. Hey, V, thank you for the raid. I refuse to believe that. There's no way. There's no way. I refuse to believe that. Listen, I know you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous morality and lord your empty rules and virtues over each other. But how dare you bring your petty disputes into the safe haven of Aru village? <laughs> In, in our defense, we're across the bridge from our village, so technically, we're not in our village. It seems like someone's gonna have to beat some sense into your thick skulls until you finally learn to respect these grounds. Also, I, I'm gonna say, yo, Sumeru's designs for most of these characters are some of my favorite. Is it a bias because I'm Sino and I'm in Sumeru? Probably. However, just like Adia, Sino, and I'll hate them. They all look badass. Also, Dia's eyes. Yo. Amazing. Not to say the other regions don't have badass looking designs. I'm just saying. These are some of my favorites. 
Midge, I'll kick your ass. Yeah, the eye flip. Neither of them can afford to be distracted by Dia. They're still looking for an opportunity to hey, attack. Did either of you hear a word I just said? No. No, we didn't. <laughs> ah! The wind is a character, fellas! Do you hear that? I believe the wind has voiceover. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on? The wind's so strong. Is this a sandstorm? Paimon's gonna get blown away. Yo, did someone say sandstorm? Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, shit. There it is. The wind will now be played by Owen Wilson. All right, that's enough of that. Another sandstorm? Oh, she said it yet! All right, enough of that. Hey, all of you over here quickly. We have to take cover. Candace! Dick fit in your mouth. Uh, anyway. <laughs> That was the chat. Because I knew they were going to try to get me with that. I knew I... See, it's these nuts. See, I knew you motherfuckers were going to try to get me. Nice fucking try, idiots. Look at you. You really did try it. Wow, wow, wow. Look at you. You thought you motherfuckers were slick. Not today. That sounded like Candace. <laughs> Come on, you two. Jeez, are all of you academia folks such hard work? Move it. T technically... I'm a general. I don't have to listen to you. What's your rank? Madam? Dia? What's your rank? <laughs> Not even a private. <laughs> Could you believe this? I'll hate them. <laughs> All right. Stop yelling. <laughs> My opportunity to strike. <laughs> Could you fucking imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine the moment All hate them was like, All right. Stop yelling. <laughs> He moved! Ah! <laughs> He's just staring at him! Menacingly! And she's staring at him! I'm looking at him! And he looks at me! Well, this is pretty awkward. <laughs> is it? Hey! Wanna play sardines with three people who wanna tear each other limb from limb? <laughs> sure, why not? Sounds fun. I'm sorry, Paimon, were you? <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? I thought you leave the jokes to Sino, alright? Look, I've got a list of jokes, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. My daughter asked me if I had seen the dog bowl. I said no. I didn't even know he could. You shut the fuck up! I'm not done. You shut the not, fuck but, up! I hope you die but, in a fire! But, shut the fuck up! But I'm not done. Hold on, I got another one. <clears throat> oh I no! Went, I said I went to a psychic. I knocked on her front door. She yelled, Who is it? So I left. Did you... Did you guys not like that one? Okay, hold on. I got another one. Oh no! Hold on, hold on. I got another one. <clears throat> the man who invented throat lozenges died Ooh. last week. There was no coffin at the funeral. No coughing at the funeral. You see, the joke is the lozenges are supposed to stop the coughing and, you know, he's dead. So coffin and no coughing. All right, proceed. Uh, I'm gonna smash you so hard after school today. Prove it! Keep floating anymore. <laughs> oh man, I'm so tired of floating. Uh, oh no! 
I guess I'll use my legs. My sincere apologies, everyone. This is the home of our village chief. I will have to ask you to make do with this. I am amazed by your voice acting for Sinnoh. Oh, well, thanks. This is my first time I have ever heard you voice act for a character, and you did an amazing job. I would love to meet you in a con in Florida. Also, my Sinnoh and his weapon came home early because I told some unfunny jokes. Such as this one. What comes after USA? What? USB. Nice. Also, hold on. Thank you for the bits. I hope I get to go to a con in Florida. The way Brian made it sound was that this is the first time you've heard me do good voice work. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Uh, uh, I'm like... They did not mean to do that, right? So I'm like, I'm gonna blame it on Brian. Thank you. I appreciate the... <laughs> I appreciate the, 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 the kind words. But fuck you, Brian. Please, let me introduce myself. All right, Hoyoverse. I am Candace. Protector of Aru Village. Ah, yes, Ishizu. How do you do? Uh, I, I see you have the Millennium Eye. Of course, of course. Yo, it's not fair. Ha! Our savior has come at last! A as I said, uh, Sumeru has some of the best designs. <laughs> nice to meet you, Candace. The name's Paimon. Thank you so much for helping us. Candace has the best voice in the game. Bro, I am right here. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. It's only right to help each other when the weather gets rough. I mean, it is a pretty good voice, though. Wow. She's so gentle and caring. Like a nice older sister. I'm like those guys over there. Hey, fuck you. All right. Now that we're all better acquainted, we should return to the topic at hand. And that topic is? As a guardian charged with the responsibility to protect my fellow villagers from harm, I was observing your conflict from afar, even before the sandstorm started. They said sandstorm! Alright, enough of that. Also, uh, I know I know she said as a guardian, but it sounded like as guardian. And there's my dog. And now that you have set foot within our village itself, it is all the more my responsibility to make absolutely sure that you pose no threat whatsoever to us. We're gonna kick your ass. Every time you talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, the theme song pops inside my head. It's a good I one. I hope you are happy. I am. And Jose, thank you for the sub. Twitch baby. Let's go. Congrats on voicing Sinnoh. Thank you. I'm gonna be pulling for him once the game updates. Hell yeah. So please. Have an honest and sincere conversation with one another, and put your hostile feelings to rest. Sorry, I just saw a thing. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a thing. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a thing in my Discord. <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Ryuji! Buddy! <laughs> This dog. Come here, buddy. If anyone dares to start anything again while they are under this roof, I will not hesitate to send them out for some quality time with the creatures of the sandstorm. Sandstorm! Alright, that's a little bit, so then I'm not torturing some, but. Oh! Uh. On second thought, Paimon may have misjudged Candace's character. Hmm. Hmm. And that goes for you too, Miss Dia. Yeah, tell her. Tower. Do I make myself clear? <sighs> All right, we got it, Candace. <laughs> Can you get in the mouth? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. So, which of you will begin? Me. I'll start by beating all Haytham's ass in TCG. Genius invocation TCG. I was supposed to be a mediator, but uh, I might have gotten a little too involved just now. Yeah, stupid. Anyway, one of those two should probably start talking. Wait. That was you trying to be a mediator? Yeah, that's fair. You know what? That's the first time I'll allow Paimon to be Paimon. <sighs> I have nothing to hide. So there's no shame in explaining myself. Yeah, you tell him me. Well, all Haytham wasn't wrong about the other Matra not knowing my whereabouts. It's not because I've been assigned a morally dubious mission. Mm hmm Rather, I've chosen to exile myself. <gasps> what? I didn't know this! 
That's called acting chat. Of course I fucking knew that. I said those words. Huh? Exile yourself? Yeah. Keep up, Paimon. A little while ago, I discovered that there was data missing in the Academia's project planning and development files. What little they did report clearly did not match the project's actual progress. I mean, you forget things? <laughs> you know what, Simba? You right. As General Mahamatra, I had the responsibility and authority to request an audit. However, to my surprise, the person responsible for the erroneous data was none other than Grand Sage Azar himself. Ooh. I tried to investigate the issue myself before submitting a formal audit request, but I soon found that all leads and potential pieces of incriminating evidence were carefully concealed from me. They didn't want me to find out shit. I began to realize that they were cautious of me from the very beginning. Yeah, look at them. Unsurprisingly, the Grand Sage rejected my audit request as soon as the submission reached his desk. He even said to me, The power of the General Mahamatra is granted by the Sages. You have no right to judge us. Wow, how entitled. Also, it would be like, <clears throat> The power of the General Mahamatra is granted by the Sages. You have no right to judge us. Is what I would have done if, you know, I wasn't Sina, you know, like, if Sina was the type, but, you know, Sina wasn't one for impersonations. You, you get what I'm saying. You, you guys get it. You guys get it. Hmm. So they really are up to no good. <laughs> That's really funny, Star. I realized then that to the Grand Sage, the Matra are nothing more than tools for the Sages to assert and maintain their control over knowledge. Knowledge! The vows that we took... The principles that we strive to uphold, they are meaningless to the academia of today. So you then decided to exile yourself? I believed it would be wise to flee the academia before the sages had a chance to take action against me. This way, they can no longer see nor predict my actions. I Bet. will never give up on this investigation. There's no need for someone else to give me power or authority. Once I find the truth, I will administer judgment by my own name. Yeah, let's get him! Sino seems to have the same goal as us. We're all investigating the sages. Plus, now that he's no longer the General Mahamatra, he somehow feels a lot less scary. What if that whole story was made up? Damn, what an idiot. Well, Sino, if that's your story, then why did you see all hate them as a target? Because he literally has the Divine Knowledge Capsule! When I was investigating the matter in the academia, I overheard a conversation between all Haytham and a sage. By the way, I don't know if they meant for this. I think I'm in love with all Haytham's eyes for the simple fact that those are like real, like mid, 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 Middle Eastern eyes. Like my, my dad and my brother have these eyes. Like, it's the green with, like, a yellow pigment in the center that almost looks, like, orangish. So, when I saw this, I was like, bro, those are the eyes of my family. Because the thing is, I remember, bro, I remember growing up in Florida, everybody would, bra when my, my brother and my sister have the same eyes, uh, and when they were younger, their eyes were a lot more green, like this emerald green, right? Um... And literally, there was someone at the at the Publix, because we're in Florida, and Publix is like a Kroger, essentially, there. And uh, they were like, man, you have, you two have really pretty eyes. And then they looked at me, and they're like, what the hell happened to you? So that happened. But now, my eyes are like this reddish gold. So, uh, yeah, fuck you. Now their eyes look like this, funny enough. Their eyes look like all Hatham's. It's really funny. The sages asked you to investigate a blonde haired traveler. Do you dispute this, all Hatham? What? Ganani? Like many parts of the project, this assignment was undocumented. Now throw in your suspicious behavior with the divine knowledge capsule, and I think we deserve an explanation. From the very beginning, all Hatham. Was the sages were watching me from the very beginning? Hmm. 
Yes. I was indeed tasked with investigating the Traveler. I'll hate them! After all, the promised reward was so great that hardly any scholar could have refused. The Sage told me, Once you've completed this assignment, I can give you a glimpse of divine knowledge. Oh. A most enticing offer. Unfortunately, those academics don't know me at all. Hmm. I already stole the divine knowledge. Their words contained one key piece of information. Namely, that divine knowledge indeed exists. That gave me all I needed to know. From my perspective, the sages are far from trustworthy. Yeah, no, the sages Think are bitches. It. Isn't it a little strange they're so willing to share divine knowledge with anyone, even as a reward? So... I began my own investigation following the lead of the Divine Knowledge Capsule. In the, the end, Divine Knowledge I Capsule. I realized my wisdom in committing to this rather than collaborating with the sages. Had I been less guarded. Dude, I love these two. Ended up like the I love the rivalry between these two. It's so cool. Incapable of remaining sane for long enough to hold a conversation. <laughs> I just keep thinking about the the fan art of these two being cops and bursting in and it's like, "Yo, it's the academia. Present your shit." <laughs> you mean that the sages originally planned to dispose of you using one of those capsules that drive people insane? What about your encounter with me? Did you join forces with me just so you could investigate me? I'd already given up on the assignment by then. I only told the academia I was waiting in Port Ormos for you to appear so they wouldn't suspect anything. Hmm, true. So it came as quite a surprise when I encountered my erstwhile target while investigating the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Hmm, the Divine Knowledge Capsule. I see that Nazi in the Z says a uh, Divine Knowledge Capsule, like Divine Knowledge Capsule. Criminals do. Everybody has a thing. Coincidences. I can't say pests. Like if there's an STS sound, I have so much trouble with that. Even though I ran into the traveler by chance, I had no intention of providing assistance to the academia. Also, you should remember. You were the ones who decided to follow me and strike up a conversation after I left that tavern. Is that enough to prove his innocence? That's true. I'll hate them helped us out at Caravan Rebot as well. Maybe he's telling the truth. I'm willing to apologize, if that's worth anything to you. I took the Divine Knowledge Capsule behind your back because I judged its existence to be a significant risk. I hmm. felt that it would be best for no one to interact with it before it had been properly studied. Fair. Also, by the way, just because I... I recorded this. I actually, for the most part, wasn't giving uh, the information that the other characters spoke. <laughs> After all, curiosity often proves to be the most dangerous thing in this land. It's really funny because that's the fanciest way of saying curiosity killed the cat. You should be well aware, Scribe Alhatham, that curiosity can also lead you to danger and suspicion. And cats dying. Answer me this. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? Have I not made myself clear? You and I are both distrusted by the academia. Do you really think they would tell me anything? Maybe a little bit. Fine. Although you haven't completely proven your innocence, I won't regard you as an enemy. For now. <laughs> For now? As you wish. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm glad to see you two clearing up your misunderstandings. One of the funniest things, I think, is how different, like, me and Sino are, as well as Shara and Candace are. Like, clearly my personality is bombastic in comparison to Sino's reservation. And I feel like Shara is the same way. And that's just me basing it off playing Among Us the other day, as well as yesterday telling a bunch of fucking dad jokes. It's quite fucking funny. And now you, Dia. I believe it's... Oh, I get out of here. Oh, sorry. Whatever the boys were talking about must have been... So <clears throat> My situation is pretty straightforward. My employer... Junior's odd. ...the Homayani family is friends with the Traveler and is currently recovering from her illness at home. True. I had nothing going on, so I decided to return to Aru Village for a visit. I was actually looking forward to a pretty exciting time getting back together with everyone here. But then I saw these two random guys in the middle of the <laughs> These two rambunctious little guys. We went downhill from there. Is that all? Well, 
I will admit that Sino sounds, sounds like you, dude. Like your style. <laughs> you know. In that case, welcome. I just back have one of those voices. You know, one of those faces. That's more like it. I missed you all so much, Candace. What the fuck was that? The wind? Whoa. What was that? Sandy? Did I just hear a sandstorm? Anyway. No need to worry. Now that you're no longer at each other's throats, please make yourselves at home. C creatures in the sandstorm? Uh, are you sure you don't want some backup? No. Fighting in a sandstorm is not for the faint-hearted. Anyone without extensive training in these conditions is at a disadvantage. You needn't worry. So oh, I worry all the yeah, time. Just leave him to Candace. <laughs> don't worry. She's as tough as they come. She's got a shield and shit. After a while, the winds outside begin to calm. The winds died down. That means the sandstorm's over. Sandstorm! Right? Candace still isn't back yet, though. Hey, Roy! Maybe we should What's up? And thanks! When you put it that way, even I'm starting to feel a little worried. All right, let's go. All right. Okay. Perfect time. This is the perfect time to call stream because I did promise Corey I would be a part of his stream. So we are going to go raid the boy. Hey, Paimon, chill. They definitely gave you new audio for there. All right. We're gonna raid my boy Corey Yi. I'm literally gonna be over there just with him, but we're gonna raid him. I told him I'd be a part of his stream for a bit, uh, and then I have to fuck off to my friend's birthday. Uh, but thank you everybody so much. This has been so much fun. I'm literally still gonna be with Corey on the other end. Uh, you guys have been a treat. I will be back tomorrow to continue this story and maybe start on Sino story depending on how much we get through but thank you everybody this has been super fun let's go show Corey some love he is the voice of Goro so we're going for Paimon please stop it you're a child we're going from one jackal boy to a dog boy Paimon it was literally five seconds anyway thank you guys you guys are amazing and if you if you are a sub make sure to wave over to Corey all right thanks guys and I will see you in a little bit if not I will see you tomorrow see ya